after 24 years in service. Intelsat has officially retired its IS-901 satellite, relocating it to graveyard orbit. This milestone follows a groundbreaking life extension mission made possible through a collaboration with Northrop Grumman's Space Logistics. In February 2020, their mission extension vehicle, or MEV, successfully docked with IS-901, marking a historic achievement in satellite servicing. But IS-901 wasn't the original target for the project. It all started with 907. 907 was running out of fuel, so original thought was, well, let's dock a mission extension vehicle with 907, except there was a problem. Because this has never been done before, we wanted to do the docking, not at the geostationary orbit, but a graveyard orbit, 300 kilometers above geo. So by doing that, you would need to take 907 to the graveyard orbit, dock it there, and then bring it back down to geo. That's about a month where the customer would have been out of service. We had a very clever idea. We thought, well, there's another satellite that's running out of fuel that's identical to 907, that's 901. So why don't we extend the life of 901? It has no customer, so nobody will be impacted. We bring 901 to graveyard orbit, we dock with MEV-1, we bring it back down to GEO, and then we co-locate it with 907, and we transfer the 907 customer to 901. Customer would not see anything, and we're able to extend the life of the 907 customers using a 901 life extension. By completing this task, Intelsat became the first and only satellite operator to complete a life extension mission. Now that IS-901 has truly reached its end of life, remaining networks and mobility customers have been moved to other nearby satellites. The docking of MEV-1 and IS-901 paved the way for future Intelsat and MEV missions. It was a great success. It was a commercial success for a customer who got an extra five years of service on that satellite. And it was a technical feat. I mean, we had to do a rendezvous and approach of two space objects that were moving very, very fast at three kilometers per second without bumping in, into each other. We demonstrated this could be done. And we actually then did the second docking of mission extension vehicle number two, not at the graveyard orbit, but directly at geo orbit. We, could, we had demonstrated on 901, we could do it safely. The MEV mission is just one example of Intelsat's investment in next-gen technology, as well as the advancement in the future of space. It unlocks all kinds of possibilities for in-space servicing. In-orbit refueling is probably the next step for life extension. We have in-orbit repair. If you have, for example, a solar array or an antenna which is stuck and doesn't deploy, you could easily come and repair that to have it deployed. You can upgrade a module. If you have a payload module on a satellite, you can put a new, uh, more up-to-date module. You can also do in-orbit assembly. Right now, if you want to assemble large structures in space, you're limited by the size of the launch vehicle. But you could build much, much larger structure with in-orbit servicing. So this is really unlocking a lot of possibilities.